So hello everybody and I am back. I am Sarim Khan studying in 5th standard. Today I have brought for you another topic that is question number 5th from Concepts of Physics chapter number 1st Introduction to Physics. Okay, as we know this book name is Concepts of Physics written by H.C. Verma. So here we have chapter number 1st Introduction to Physics. So we are going to solve the question number 5th. So here we have question number 5th. Find the dimensions of Planck's constant, okay, h from the equation E equals to h nu, where E is energy and nu is frequency. Generally, this letter here we can see in this equation that is nu, but actually it is written by V, okay, so this, let, uh, this letter is called nu. So here we have, we have to find out the dimensions of Planck's constant from this equation, okay, and Planck's constant is h here, okay, so it is uh, denoted by letter h. So we have equation E equals to h and E we have as energy and U we have as frequency. So here let us start our solution. Okay, so here we write solution. Okay, so here we have which equation have been given to us. Let us write this equation here equals to h nu. Now we need dimensions of h means Planck's constant. And for that we need the formula for Planck's constant. So we'll rewrite this equation for Planck's constant. So here we'll rewrite it. So h, okay, h will come at the place of e. So h equals to as this e will come here. So this v, sorry, this new was in multiplication with h. As this new will come with e, so it will come in division. So h equals to e divided by new. Okay, so this we this equation we got for our Planck's constant. Now let us try to find out the dimensions of Planck's constant. Okay, so we'll find out. So for that we need the dimensions of energy, later dimensions of frequency. Later we'll try to divide them. So let us find out. Okay, so first dimensional formula for energy. As we know, e e means kinetic energy, potential energy. There are many kinds of energy. So let us take kinetic energy. Okay, so we have here half mv squared. Okay, half mv squared where, uh, okay, we, we know this 1 by 2 is a pure number. m means mass and v squared means our velocity squared. Okay, so here we have E as energy. Now here 1 by 2 is a pure number and pure numbers are always dimensionless quantity. They have no dimension or no dimensional formulas. So we'll find out only dimensional formulas of mv squared. So here we have we can rewrite it and am i am writing here as mass mass into mass we have as a base quantity we wrote here but velocity is not a base quantity so what is the equation for velocity displacement okay so here displacement by time okay here we can notice one thing it is velocity is square so here also it should be displacement is square by time is square Okay, this we got Displace, displacement is squared by time is squared. So we have this. Okay, we can write energy even in this form mass into displacement is squared divided by time is squared. So now what we can do here that actually displacement is squared can be also written as length is squared as their same quantities. So here I am writing it as mass into length is squared by time is squared. Okay, this we got. Now we'll write it in simple form. That is, so now we'll write it as m l square. Now here time is squared. As this t squared will come as numerator, its power, its power symbol will be converted in negative symbol. Okay, so t power minus two. Okay, this we got di dimension dimensional formula for e. Okay, we'll represent them under brackets. Now we need for nu. Okay, we need we know frequency. Sorry, we know frequency formula okay equals to 1 by t means reciprocal of time period so 1 is all also dimensionless so here only for t will find out as it will come in numerator's power will be converted in negative symbol its power was 1 because nothing was given will take as 1 so this we got for frequency t power minus 1 now we'll try to divide them as we know we need for Planck's constant so for h will write h equals to ml square t power minus 2 divided by t power minus 1. Now here we can notice one thing actually in physics generally if we have to divide the dimensional formulas so we'll do so just like time here we have so time will be this time we can only can be divided by this time this time will divide only to time not any other quantity so we'll divide it okay t power minus 2 by t power minus 1 in t power minus 1 time okay so equals to 
एम एल स्क्वेयर टी पर माइनस वन दिस वी गॉट द डिमेंशनल फॉर्मूला फॉर अवर प्लैंक्स कॉन्स्टेंट नाउ दिस इज डिमेंशनल फॉर्मूला इट इज आस्के टू फाइंड आउट डिमेंशन नाउ वॉट आर डिमेंशन वी नो द एक्सपोनेंट्स ओवर द डिमेंशनल फॉर्मूला क्वान्टिटीज आर कॉल डिमेंशन सो डिमेंशंस फॉर दिस ओके देन डिमेंशंस फॉर प्लैंक्स कॉन्स्टेंट मिस एच वी हैव equals to वन in mass okay वन in mass why वन in mass because power means exponent over mass is वन why does वन nothing is given whenever any exponent or any power is not given we take it, it as वन so we have it वन in mass okay later टू in length here टू is given टू in length later minus वन in time so minus वन in Time. Those are the dimensions. Those are the dimensions of Planck's constant. Miss H from the equation e equals to h nu. So this was my today's topic. Thank you.